Hi everyone, it's me Grace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm basically just going to be breaking down the Oxford Chemistry course. Um, for anyone who's um, thinking about applying to Oxford for Chemistry, this is basically this video telling you guys what it's like. Um, not what it's like. I have another video talking about um, how much work you do as a first year chemist. But this is more just talking about like how the course actually works, how the course is structured. Um, because there are definitely some things that surprised me. Um, about this course that I didn't really know um so yeah I just wanted to put this in a video so if you don't know me my name is Grace and I'm a first year chemist at Oxford I'm at Lady Margaret Hall College yeah when I was applying like I was definitely conflicted between natural sciences at Cambridge and chemistry at Oxford so if you're thinking about that as well you may be a bit conflicted or maybe you don't know if you want to apply to Oxford you want to know what the Oxford course is like this is basically what this video is for this video is for you so the first thing i want to say is that in the first year the oxford chemistry course is very very mathematical there's a lot of maths in first year because i think yeah it goes the oxford course can be very theoretical and it goes into like quantum mechanics and everything in very um deep detail so i've only done my first term um so we haven't actually done any quantum mechanics yet i'm pretty sure i'll be doing that next term but we have done a, just a lot of pure maths that doing it is like, why are we doing this? Like, what applications does this have to chemistry? But apparently it doesn't have a lot of applications in quantum. Okay, so I literally have my calendar here. And from what I can see um, in our lectures, so we have 10 lectures a week, two lectures a day, Monday to Friday, and about two to three of those lectures, so two or three of those lectures a week are just pure maths. So the maths course that we did in the first term was called the calculus of one and two variables. So basically calculus, right? So differentiation, integration, you know, looking at two variables. So stuff like partial derivatives, just pure, pure maths. And every week we have a math sheet based on those lectures. Um, so like honestly, a lot of maths. There was also a classical mechanics lecture course, which I guess comes under physical chemistry. But if you do A-level maths, like mechanics is maths, right? It's just applied maths. So yeah, so you'll be doing just pure math sheets. So that's why in the interview as well, sometimes they'll ask you just purely um just maths questions. So if you really don't like maths, like I don't think, I don't know, you might want to reconsider. I do know as well, at, in our end of year exams, at the end of first year, we have, there's a whole maths paper, like three hours, just maths paper. Um, I have a collections when I go back um, um, next term and I'll have a maths collection. So that's only for the first year. I'm pretty sure the maths dies down after um, the first year. So maybe if you wanna, if you really don't like maths, you might wanna just hold out um, for, for one whole year though, like ask yourself that question. I do know at Cambridge as well, if you do natural sciences, you have to do maths as well. So if you want to apply to Oxbridge, you can't avoid the maths. So yeah, it's, it's a lot of maths. So lectures and labs are departmental and tutorials are college based. Um, So tutorials kind of work differently at each college. But how they work um, at my college is we kind of have like, so you have like just chunks of like physical, inorganic or organic. So I think the first two weeks we had organic. So we did stereo chem. And then we did actually, let me actually check. We did stereo chem. Then in the second week, okay, we did more stereo chem. We had a stereo chem class, right? Then in the third week, so that was organic. Then then in the third week, we did an acids and bases tutorial, right? And we also, in that week, we had two tutorials. So we also did inorganic, which was um, structure of solids. Then in the fourth week, we did inorganic as well, which was um, ionic model. So the first three weeks were organic and then we had inorganic and then now it's physical. So the next two weeks we had thermodynamics, tutorials, and then at the end we had an acids and bases class and we also had, so we did a bit, we ended with organic. We had a substitution and elimination tutorial. So it's kind of just like in blocks. You have like organic for a few weeks, then you have like inorganic, then you have like um, physical. So this term we had two physical tutorials. I know that next term we're going to have three physical tutorials. So you know, the emphasis kind of shifts, but I'm pretty sure for the whole of first year, you can't choose like modules, like they, you do organic, physical, inorganic throughout the whole year. Second year is kind of like that as well. Third year, I think you start to have a bit more flexibility, but even then, like it's still quite rigid. So I know other unis, for example, like at Durham, I was doing like some like programs with Durham. They were saying how and this girl, like, was so, my mentor, she was talking about how she um really didn't like physical chemistry, so she just chose as little um physical, like, modules as possible. And so she had to do, like, 
you know, not that much physical. So she was, so she was doing mostly organic and a bit inorganic and then very little physical. You can't really do that at Oxford. They kind of make you do everything. Um, so, yeah. And then the lectures are just kind of like, you just have different random lecture courses, like, spread over the eight weeks. So, you know, first week we had, like, I'll just give you some. We had, like, Atomic Structure and Periodic Trends, Introduction to Organic Chemistry, um, the role of charge. So we also have some physical, some physics lectures. I guess physical, but it kind of seemed a bit like physics. But you know that's just the overlap between chemistry and physics. So role of charge and also classical mechanics as well, um, which is like physics slash math. And then you have two physics sheets or oh, a term. So in your first year you have two physics sheets a term. And I kind of like that about the degree that it's not just pure chemistry. It low key makes you feel like I'm doing natural sciences but with like a chemistry emphasis. Because I'm doing chemistry, I'm doing a bit of physics, I'm doing maths as well. Like I really feel like I'm doing physical natural sciences, but I'm not, I'm doing chemistry, right? Because all the stuff that we're doing is obviously relevant to chemistry. Um but yeah I do like is that it's not just organic physical and inorganic chemistry like no there's maths there's physics as well i mean i i did enjoy physics i did physics at a level um so yeah i do like that there's a i do think it spices it spices it up a bit um so yeah so two physics sheets a term and they will be based off the physics lectures so role of charge and classical mechanics was it was this term so yeah that's pretty much it so if you so if you didn't do physics at a level though don't worry like i do teach you the fit like that's what that's what the lectures are for but, you know, if, if let's say you're choosing your A-levels and you're conflicted between physics A-level and, and a different A-level, like, I don't know, music or something. Like, obviously, do, like, don't, physics isn't necessary, but I do think it's helpful. Like, I do think it does help. So if you're really conflicted, it's really, like, 50-50, I might say go for the physics because it does help um, just having that background. And, yeah. Like, I feel like the, the chemist at LMH who didn't do physics A-level struggled a bit more with understanding the physics. Because, honestly, sometimes the lectures aren't that great. Like, I won't even lie. I'm not going to say it's Oxford. It's, it's amazing lectures. Like, sometimes it isn't that great. The next thing about the degree, so we've talked lectures, we've talked tutorials, right? And now there's labs. I honestly think labs, like, if we didn't have this many, like, so much labs in this degree it would actually be bearable it would actually be manageable it's labs that just tips it over the edge because we have 12 hours of labs a week right and then each lab has a lab report which takes like three to four hours to do so you're literally doing so much lab work and it's like you have two lab free weeks a term so two weeks a term where you have no labs and that is literally you don't understand how much free time you have in that in, in that week because imagine labs are 12 weeks and then let's say each lab report takes like three hours to do so that's six hours so that's a whole 18 hours freed up when you don't have labs that week 18 hours do you know how much time that is the labs take up a lot like they do they really do i do enjoy them like i do enjoy doing the lab like doing some practical chemistry i guess i really do hate the lab reports but you know, I guess they're just trying to teach you the skills. You know, if you do go into research or doing a PhD, you need to be able to, you know, report your findings and stuff. Um, but yeah, labs are stressful. I won't lie, like doing the report because you have to like get it signed off, um, which is basically when like you go to the lab demonstrator and then they read your report like, and then they ask you questions on the lab. And so you need to make sure you understand what was going on in the lab. But they're, they're good. They're also a good social aspect as well because you're paired with another college um, so chances are your lab partner will be from a different college. So LMH, um, for that, I don't know if it's going to be for the whole year, but for, but for first term, we are paired with Bailey College. So my lab partner is from Bailey also. You know, it's just like a bit of nice mix, mixing up a bit. But yeah, if you want to know like more like how, like actually the breakdown of how many hours do you do like in chemistry, like how much work is it, you can watch my other video. I'll link it down below. Um, but this is more about like actually the structure of the course. I know they have a video on YouTube that Oxford made about chemistry and like just about talking about the course so you can watch that and also read the all the information on the website as well and that will give you uh, that will go deeper into like the structure of the course and you can also go on the Oxford Department of Chemistry um, website and you can actually look at the lecture course that so you can look at the lectures for the term um, and for the year so you can actually look at the topic of each lecture and see if like these this is looking like interesting stuff um yeah but the oxford course is very broad 
and it's very has a lot of breath and a breath is that how you say it? and a lot of depth as well so it's very very you go deep um into it um which is why the terms are so intense but it does mean that you learn a lot of chemistry and you know you become like i'm really excited to really become like just really well versed in chemistry you know so if you really love chemistry you really want to understand it deeply you know all the all the overlaps of physics all the mathematical models and all the theoretical all of this you want to just get into the nitty-gritty um then i think it's a good course and you know you want to just do chemistry then it's a good course as opposed to doing natural sciences but yeah i might i'll, I'll probably i'm gonna i have a few friends who are doing natural sciences at cambridge so i'll probably i'll try and get them on the channel so we could actually compare the two but yeah this is my video on chemistry at oxford i hope you enjoyed it if you liked it give it a like if you have any questions leave them in the comments below i'll be happy to answer any questions share with anyone who's considering doing chemistry interested in chemistry and also subscribe to my channel for more content if you want to see what it's like actually like doing chemistry at oxford just being at oxford um subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye